Shabbat Shalom everyone. Our Torah portion uh, this Shabbat is called Toldot, meaning the story of, the history of, and it tells of a story of an amazing woman, the first person on earth to come with inquiries and demand from Adonai our God, asking about the human condition and saying, why isn't this world just simply perfect? And coming out with a great lesson to all of us. The story begins with Rivka, Rebecca, our mother, our ancestor, being barren. She cannot have children. And Isaac, standing in front of Rebecca, pleads to Adonai on her behalf. Now the commentary says, since the word that is used there is that they were both present, one facing the other, probably they both prayed to God, asking and pleading for children. The first, maybe, egalitarian prayer in our history. And then Adonai answers, and Rebecca is pregnant with twins, and the imagery to her pregnancy that the Torah gives us is an amazing imagery. It says that it felt like the children are struggling and running around in her womb. It was such a painful pregnancy. So Rebecca inquires of Adonai, why is that so? Why is that suffering? But the Hebrew word that is translated normally as inquire is actually much more loaded. The Hebrew word is lidrosh, and we know that word because actually a sermon means lidrosh, and a midrash, giving an explanation to the stories of the Torah, also comes from that verb, lidrosh. But it mostly means, when you look at other places in the Torah, demanding, and actually in a very forceful way. The first time that we hear it, it comes from Adonai. Adonai says, I'm demanding that human life would be sacred. And the second time we hear of it, in all the Bible, in all the Torah, is from Rebecca, saying, I'm demanding, Adonai, that you will explain why am I suffering. She's not only the first woman to inquire and demand about the human condition, she's actually there teaching us a few great lessons. One is, I mentioned that when Isaac was praying and pleading to Adonai, he was doing it in the presence of his wife. She doesn't have Isaac there. She's an independent woman. She's showing us that we can have a personal relationship with God. But it's much more than that. She's not praying. She's not pleading. She's demanding an explanation, teaching us that when something is wrong in the world, it's not enough to plead to God to correct it. It's up to us to demand an explanation and do something about it, teaching us a much greater lesson. Some say, just accept the world as it is. Things happen, the world is not perfect, and we should just go about it and accept it. But Rebecca does not accept the world as it is, teaching us that if you want a better world, if you want to repair everything that is wrong in our world, you need to go out and demand explanations and do something about it, even if it means to confront the most holy, the most powerful Adonai, our God. Shabbat Shalom.